Hey, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whenever you're tuning in today, hey, this is Jane Miller. I am so happy that you grabbed your free Create Your Lead Generation System in a Day webinar. Now, let's start back at the beginning. You know, I work with business owners and entrepreneurs and, and professionals who really have been struggling, sometimes for months, to reach their goals and, and they just can't seem to figure out how to do it. And for you, this goal is likely more customers, more profits, uh, more prospects. However, isn't our goal really freedom? Freedom to do what you want, when you want, how you want to do it. Isn't that what you're in business for? Isn't that what you're after, after all? Great. We're going to help you, help you eliminate stress and struggle and, and put this plan into action so that you can make more money, engage your staff and employees, or really finally create the time for your personal lives and for your freedom. So in this segment, we're going to talk about creating your lead generation system in a day. And really, this can be done in a day. There's also a bonus at the end that we're going to talk about how to structure um, a particular offer. But for now, let's get started. When we talk about creating a lead generation magnet, what the heck does that mean? Well, what, it's anything of value that you can provide to your suspects and your prospects in exchange for their contact information. Real quickly, this might be a white paper, an ebook, a coupon, a webinar just like this. Now your magnet needs to have a couple things. It, it really has to appeal to your target market, your target audience, and we'll talk a little bit about that a little later. If you've worked with me in the past with Money Making Marketing System, you know that I talk about having your market defined first, then your message, and then finally your media. This magnet is actually part of the media. So nonetheless, we have to appeal to the target audience. And you might have a magnet for a couple different um, types of markets. It needs to provide a solution, solution to your prospects, pains, frustrations, problems. It should have a clear title that conveys value. Let's back up create your lead generation system in a day? In a day? <laughs> I'm there. And then package it or present it in a way that's appealing. So why do it? Why even bother with this? Well, the right lead generation magnet is going to attract a steady flow of leads that then you convert into paying customers down the road. Let's talk more about what is a lead generation magnet. So on the left hand side, oh my gosh, gosh, I have a dozen things here. The magnet could be an ebook. Uh, it could be a downloadable kit. And by that I mean, well, you have um, a white paper and an ebook and maybe a recording that folks can get right off of a website. You could give away a free consultation or quote, and you'll see at the very end of this webinar. I have a special audit offer for you. Another could be an educational email series. You could have something, let's say you're doing something with weight loss, so you do 20 days to, you know, fixing your diet or whatever it might be, and once a day you send out an educational email. That could be your magnet and really simple to do. You could dish out the free samples. So that could be anything from, you know, how Rita's uh, ice, Italian ice, when they first open up in the season, <laughs> they give out free samples of their goodies. This could also be headlines. So if you're a marketing person like myself, maybe I'll offer you a free headline. You could activate a free trial. So let's say you have a coaching program. You could activate, as your magnet, a free trial you know, for 10 days or whatever it might be as a magnet. Remember, the magnets are things of value. They're of value, and you're giving them in exchange for the prospects 
contact information. Number seven, just like this, record a webinar. You could also create a video series. Laura Langemeyer over at Live Out Loud did a 40 different um, video series. Um, she had interviews with people. You could deliver an informative white paper. I was just on a sustainability website where they their magnet was white papers on all kinds of topics from carbon footprint to renewable energy credits and so on. You could give an exclusive invitation to a live webinar. So versus this one, which is a recorded webinar, you could do a live webinar and give invitations to only those on a particular list. You could host an event. Perhaps geographically, you could kind of like in number 10 where you do a live webinar, you could do this in person. You could host um, some sort of a, a program in your local library. And how about the good old coupon? Certainly coupons are still a good lead generation magnets. So the folks would bring the coupon into your place of business. They would use the coupon online and so on. So again, just 12 quick ideas of lead generation magnets. Things of value, wouldn't you agree? That solve problems for people and tell them what to do. Now, how do you do all this? How do you get all this done? Here's some of the ways that I've done them. I have report templates that I use. So when I am thinking of a prospect and they let me know what their problems are, I have a report template that I fill in kind of the blanks and come up with an ebook. Cute PDF. <laughs> so it's tough to, you know, um, upload things to the web uh, with Word, a Word document, and have them uh, come up with the proper sequencing and the look that you try to do and the formatting. So Cute PDF is free software. Just Google Cute PDF and you can download that. And what happens is when you print, your Word document, instead of the printer, you choose the cute PDF and it turns it into a PDF. Isn't that great? <laughs> How about for probably, uh, oh, here's a magnet that I didn't list, a teleseminar where it's just your recorded voice. Uh, maybe you add a chat along with it, but you can use services that are freeconference.com where you provide people with a phone number. They call in. Uh, you don't pay for it, but um, they would have, um, you know, the, the, the call costs themselves. Nonetheless, another one is GoToWebinar, which I love. GoToWebinar is great to do the live webinars where people can interact. Uh, they, you can actually have them chat with you. You can have them enter questions on the screen. It's wonderful. GoView. You have to Google GoView. It's part of the GoToWebinar and GoToMeeting um, group. GoView allows you to do what I did here. I created a PowerPoint with all these slides, clicked on GoView, it came up and it's recording both my movements. Watch this, I'll move, dun, da, dun, dun, and my voice. Another way to do that is with Cam Studio. And by the way, you can get the minimum that you need for free. Now, how do you do this later? Well, here's the how-to with GoView. When I'm finished recording, it will take me to the website where it will record and upload online. The other way to do it is upload to YouTube. That's a great one because YouTube then can act as a double marketing um, sword for you. So you not only have the magnet to offer out, but now uh, people may just come across it. What you do with your YouTube video is you can email a link to it, to YouTube. You can download it and have it as a file that you send or uh, record to a CD, DVD. Or you can embed it in your website, which I've done here. Now, what if you don't have time to do all the report templates and so on and so forth? Use a service like Elance where you can hire people very affordably, affordably to um, <laughs> write reports for you, um, to transcribe your teleconferences. I'll likely have them transcribe this recording for this webinar. It's a great thing for um, getting reports and white pages out. You can really give 
these folks the topic and kind of your personality and flavor and they'll write a stunning white paper for you and do all the research for you uh, saves you time as well do you see what this picture is do you know what it is <laughs> isn't it great it's a video or VCR tape right <laughs> So nonetheless, one other idea, when you do all this, whether it's online, you can also record these to CDs and DVDs so that you can mail them to your customer. So just some ideas then of lead generation magnets. Now, let's talk then about creating the perfect, uh, perfecting the devices. And what do I mean by that? Well, this is all great. We have your magnet all made up. It's um, maybe this great ebook that's online, or, and also you have it on PDF and you have it on uh, file or hard copy that you can send to folks. Well, that's great. It's there waiting. How do we how do we direct the folks to it? That's what the devices are all about. What do we use to attract the leads to your magnet? Okay, and. When we started, we talked about your funnel and your magnet. This is part of <laughs> funneling things to your magnet. So online and offline are both very important. So when we talk about an online device, that's something like your website, blogs, um, articles that you post online, um, emails, Facebook, Twitter, and so on. Your offline devices are also so important and I use these a lot because I believe in direct marketing. Money-making marketing is often direct marketing. Those are things like letters, direct letters, ads, you know, advertising that could be in your uh, local merchandiser, which is very inexpensive to do. It may be flyers that you put up around town. It may be articles that you are able to get um, posted in newspapers and also trade journals that relate to your business. Postcards are great. You can send your own postcards out now. Um, depending on the geography, you can use the U.S. Postal Service's Every Door Direct Mail. If you're, for example, let's say you're a pizza place and you want to um, you know, get to the folks in certain neighborhoods, you can use send out cards. Um, which is a great way to send postcards with a, a real stamp on them. And you can also use things like Vistaprint and so on. Press releases is a great on and offline device because you can send the press releases to your print paper. And also there are online uh, PR sites like PR Web and so forth. Coupons, again, I mentioned before, are always a great device. When's the last time you passed up a coupon? And again, some other ones such as speaking events. Speaking events are great. I do these a lot for my um, goal setting and leadership events. Um, I go out and speak to Lions Clubs and Rotaries and Women's Clubs and whatever you have. They get a taste of me and my personality and they become my prospects and follow along. 3D, that's like something like sending a yo-yo in the mail. <laughs> to talk, uh, I would say a financial services person could use that to offset the yo-yoing <laughs> of the uh, mutual funds going up and down. I just made that up. <laughs> See how easy? So you to be creative in creating and perfecting these devices that you're going to use now. I want you to remember though, market and message first and then the media. Now, this webinar is create your lead generation system in a day. This is probably step two if you're starting a business. Now, what do you want? What you want to do again is if you are not sure of whom you want to do all this for, you need to go step back and think about your market. What is your message? Um, what are the problems that you're solving for the folks? And then decide on all of this media. And if you go to my site there at the bottom, moneymakingmarketingsystem.com, there's plenty of blogs, free reports, etc., to help you to define your target market. Next, the capture mechanism. This is the funnel. And I, uh, in the first page, talked about the magnet and the funnel. So what's this all about, a capture mechanism? Well, if you're sending out direct mail pieces, you're putting coupons, an ad in the paper, if you're you know, 
putting articles in the website and people are responding to get your magnet the magnet that you created the free report or the webinar they want this thing you've intrigued them they, they got to have it well how do you capture then the exchange the exchange was we provide something in value that's our magnet in exchange for their contact information so how do we capture it a couple ways to do that if you're using web um, and again we recommend doing all of these things you need an opt-in web page so what we suggest is one single web page and you can have this as an extension of your current website or create another one they're really not that expensive uh, side note you know I have just host.com I set myself up as an affiliate <laughs> so every time I create another new page I get a, <laughs> a bit of that back in, in um, fees so just a, a side note there but an opt-in page that just has this uh, magnet on it so you go to this opt-in web page you know I'm prospect I saw your whatever it was Ooh, I gotta have that magnet I gotta have that free report that you're offering <clears throat> So on the opt-in page, you remind them of the offer that they came to get. You give some bullet points on you know, how it's going to solve their problems and what so uh, problems it's going to solve. And you have a sign-in box above the fold. And what that means is you know, try to go to the smallest screen you might imagine them looking at and have the opt-in box right at the top there on the top half. So again, remind them of the offer they're signing up for couple bullet points about what they're um, getting going for and again have the sign-in box another way to capture is through a toll-free recorded message so you may have an offer that says call my toll-free number for a special recording on this ebook this white paper this webinar that you're going to get um, so once you and, and by the way also go to my website I use um, a toll-free system online it's ten dollars a month so don't tell me you can't do it it is worth your while you get email boxes and you can put different messages so I might um, have on my um, I might have on my devices that they should call 1-800-540-2610 option 4 and option 4 then would be the offer that they called about now it may say hello and thank you for calling for your report on lead generation system in a day and then I will tell them how to leave their information here's how that sounds please leave your name your address your email address and your phone please speak slowly and clearly so that I don't miss a bit of your information and so that I can send you right out the offer that I'm sending you <laughs> etc and then tell them how they're going to receive it uh, I'll rush it in the mail to you I'll, you'll get an email with the link to the page and so on another way to capture is a return postcard um, this you can do pretty easily. I mentioned send out card and Vista print. You can do a double postcard mailing where the second piece is actually a mail in card. So folks still like to do that. Um, and uh, I would probably take the time if it was something of value that I wanted to receive. So again, on that, you want to remind them of the offer, the thing that they're uh, signing up for. Uh, you want to have a deadline to respond uh, in this mail portion. And Rather than just an email, you can ask for their name and email. Have a little bonus for giving their address and phone number. So if it's email, um, you would have printed on there. By giving your address, we will also send you a hard copy of blah, blah, blah. Got it? Capture mechanism. Let's talk a little about making that um, capture mechanism even better. And this is designed so that you can eliminate um, any worry uh, that the folks have in clicking the, the button or, or signing up or leaving their, their information on the toll-free line. You can use check boxes um, so that, as I just mentioned with the postcard, if you want to get more information, check this box. You can also use that on your um, opt-in web. Use, you know, click this box if you want to get further information for us. Now, on the first 
if it's a web, if it's the first opt-in page, we always suggest just getting what you need on the first sign-up page. So name and email. If it's something that you're going to send them electronically or send them a link to. Secondly then, and this works pretty great, have that go to a thank you page where you also offer a bonus if they provide their snail mail address and phone, right? So just a, a kind of an extension of the offer there. And as always, tell them what they're going to get. Um, your submit button could probably, instead of just say click here, it, the button could say send me my free report or give me my free sample. Um, and this again helps to ease the trepidation of them hitting the button. And how do you make up these buttons? Oh, <laughs> I have a free site that you can go to for that too. <laughs> it's just great. We can help you with that. No problem. So we talked about having the magnet uh, all in place, that wonderful thing that's adding value and solving problems for people. Um, we've talked about the devices that you're going to use to you know, get people to raise their hands and say, hey, I want that thing. Um, and then we talked about how to capture their information when they do. Great, so you have the client or the, actually it's not a client yet. <laughs> I'll have to back up. You have this suspect. Uh, you have their information, their email, name, maybe even a snail mail address and a phone number. What we start then is an automated sequence. This is for follow along, steady follow along, so that we can convert these lookers and kicker, tire kickers from suspect, because <clears throat> really that's what they are, because we're maybe not sure when we're sending out to a, a whole list, let's say, of chamber members. We don't really know who's a good prospect perhaps at that point. We've done target, target marketing, so we have that um, idea, but they're still suspects at that point. They become prospects when they figure out that we have something that might help them solve their problem. So the automated sequences that we do are designed to follow along with the customer, they follow along with the suspect, so that we can convert them to prospects, and then finally to customers. Isn't it so easy to just, you know, mix up those terms? But the more we think about where we're starting from with our folks, first they're suspects. Um, we don't know. Um, you know, we're weeding out. Um, would this be something you'd like? Yes or no? No. Okay, no problem. Move on to the next. So a couple ways to do this on and offline as well. We can use um, different types of what they call CRM. That's really Client Relationship Management Systems. And we use those online. And what it does is, um, remember back to our opt-in pages and our capture um, opt-in websites, what happens is when those folks put their information in there, it automatically goes to a database. And you'll use something like MailChimp, iContact Aweber, um, you know, and then once you got this in hand, move up to something like Infusionsoft. These are client relation management systems. You keep all your database information in there, their name, their email. Uh, you can segment them into, um, you know, your mark, target markets, you know, uh, businesses with one to five employees, businesses with 10 to 50 employees, just as an example. Now, what do you do with the darn things? You got them in there, okay? And they're all opt-in. They're all permission-based. This isn't something where you take that chamber list and shove it into the the CRM system. That's really not allowed. It's it's that's a form of spam, really. But so when you use these uh, online CRMs, what we're going to do with them then, though, is automatically respond. We're going to send automate auto responders is what they're called. Called and what you do is you automatically <laughs> send additional valuable information to these folks who have opted in to get your magnet, that free report, webinar, etc. And things that can be in your autoresponder are tips, further webinars, um, lists of the top 20 marketing strategies, for example, uh, educational items. One that I really like to do is take snippets from the magnet that you gave them for free, you know, the val great value added, Take little snippets out of that, restate some of the, um, the bullets, and explain them and go into more detail. You've signed up with me. You just follow what I do and copy what I do because soon you're going to start receiving, unless you opt out, which is fine, because I'm, you know, I'm taking you from suspect to prospect. But again, 
what you'll soon start seeing is, um, this is an, an email sequence from me. The first one might say, hey, I hope that you were able to, you know, sign on and watch the webinar. If you didn't, here it is. Uh, again, here's the link. Go get it. Um, look for an email from me in a couple days for some extra special information. And then that next email will say, hey, I hope you enjoyed your Create Your Lead Generation System in a Day webinar. Did you happen to notice this great stuff on page three? <laughs> then I'll take that piece and expand on it more, whatever it might have been. Maybe it's on coming up with your target market, etc. So you see how that works? So you don't even need to create all new stuff. Just go back to what you've already provided and take a snippet of it and explain it more. And then what you'll have on here is always your website, your phone number, where they can get in touch with you. Now, there's different timing um, that we can talk about uh, for your particular business, but you know, we could say some folks like to do every three days with an autoresponder. Um, some know that their market prefers it every week uh, and so on. And eventually, what you're doing is creating um, your credibility, you're providing value, you're solving problems, they trust you, and as it goes on and on, when they're ready um, to work with you or buy your product or service, um, they will be there when the offer is presented. So again, we don't want to sell right away with these follow-alongs. We want to build that relationship. The way to do this client relationship management offline also are things like um, more recorded messages. We can say to the folks, hey, um, you know, uh, here's recorded message number two. Um, some folks use the automated dialer systems. Um, that's something that will be an expense, but that could be one way to retain um, the client relationship management. You can send articles, paper articles. You can um, send them a card uh, to call into a number, phone number, where you can they can hear a teleseminar. You won't need a web a website for that. You can send white papers. Mailed newsletters are always still great. As a matter of fact, when I do um, e-newsletters, I follow up with a printed copy as well. Okay, so we take these um, folks that have uh, started to you know, opt in and we put them into the database called the Client Relationship Management System, the CRM, and then we begin to automatically respond to them with value-added, problem-solving, education, and basically more of you and your personality. Now, the funnel is filling with leads. And that's how they get in there, those, those steps we just took. And again, the idea is to nurture, educate, solve problems, and gain trust. And from that point, then we can start on you know, presenting our product and our service and our offer that's going to solve the pro prospect's problem and, and that they want to go ahead and invest their time and their funds with us to do so. Let's go back and just do a summary of the lead gem generation system. And are you seeing how really you could create this thing in a day? So first, again, we're talking about uh, this compelling message that you have. It's a, to a focused target market. And really, you'll have to do some work before that, won't you, <laughs> to figure out who the target market is. And again, if you're having um, some struggles with that, go down to the moneymakingmarketingsystem.com and uh, pull up some blogs and posts and, and um, get you on your way with that. So again, it includes that irresistible offer. You know, what, what is the magnet? What is that thing that they are just raising their hands and say, give that thing to me, I need it now. Um, and then talking about the device to present the offer. And again, that could be direct mail, um, blogs, press releases, news releases, um, articles on the web, articles in your newspaper, and so on and so forth. And then you give them that easy, non-threatening way to respond. So go to the web, push the button, call up the toll-free recorded message, leave your email. And then once they do, we capture the prospect information into the CRM, remember the client um, relationship management system. We capture it into there. Now in there we need to fulfill with our uh, magnet, whether it's the webinar, the 
free report, the recording, etc. Um, so that can be done automatically, and we can show you how to do that with your, um, you know, Mailchimp and uh, and your website and so on and so forth. Then we follow along to expiration. And what do I mean by that? Remember, in this portion, we talked about automatically responding to people. So how long do you do that? Well, you'll have to come up with your target, just what that means for you. But you follow along with the suspect until they become a prospect, until they become a customer, right? And maybe you go out, you know, three, six months um, to these prospects, and then you stop. And then maybe a couple months later, you start in again with a different type of um, responding. And uh, the other way to have them expire is if they opt out, and that's fine because, again, we want to turn suspects into prospects, and we want to only focus on those who will eventually become our customer. And the last bullet item is very important. Repeat. <laughs> so you do this once, and what's really cool about this is you can repeat it then to other um, targets within your market. So maybe, let's say the uh, example of the pizza place. So maybe that pizza owner, pizza shop owner, uh, targets to certain neighborhoods, and he does this whole sequence. He could repeat the same sequence with just a little bit of um, tweaks and different language, let's say to the local college, all right, <laughs> to capture all the kids there. So you can see how once done and repeat. Now, I promised you some bonuses. I talked a lot about um, converting these suspects, getting them into your opt-in, which, you know, then oh, we are hoping they're prospects. How do you get them to be the customer? Well, that comes with all your different offers that you have. Now, your offer, and we talk about this more in some of our other programs, but let me just give you the what about it. Your offer, again, has to be irresistible, right? It has to make me want to raise my hand and say, I want that, I need it, and actually the want is stronger than the need. I may know that I need uh, speaking services <laughs> to improve. Maybe I don't want them. <laughs> so the offer needs to be irresistible and compelling. And by compelling, we mean that, wow, if I don't do this, X is going to happen or Y is not going to happen. The offer has to solve a problem for your prospect. Your offer has to be credible. It has to add value to the prospect's day. And it needs to be time sensitive. So if I have this offer out forever and ever and ever, well then the folks get the idea that they can just wait. So often you'll see on my offers that it'll expire in 10 days or get this, you know, within with the end of uh, within the end of the night and so forth. And it's not really a trick. If, the, if we've really got a compelling message and we're solving a problem that the people want to solve, they're going to do it now. Why wait? Here's a little more about how to structure your offer. And again, this is um, a lot of what I work with on my folks uh, when I work with them in the money-making marketing system. And we talk a lot about the target market. Remember I said that we need to talk, start with our market and then the message and then the media, which lead generation system is actually part of the media. So the target market, again, the problems are the focus. What are their problems? So when I started this out today, I talked about, well, this is create your lead generation system in a day. But really what it is is taking care of, of stress and your struggles and your challenges and you know secondly what do they want yeah they want leads you want prospects you want to make money but really what you want is less stress you want personal time spend with your family you want more vacation you want freedom that's why you got into business in the first place right great and then also with the target market you need to be careful about um, knowing how your folks want to buy do they want it sent immediately um, is it okay if you send it in the snail mail and so on and so forth? Just a piece on message. When you talk about your message, this is the introduction to the benefits of your thing, but again, it has to focus back on solving problems. Your message will describe the offer to the people. 
you would need to tell them and repeat what they're going to end up with. So in my example, I told you I'm going to help you create your lead generation system in a day. And I keep repeating that because you need to remember what the offer is. And I've provided you all the what in this webinar. The how, I've given you a little bit and we go on for there. And also with the message, we tell folks how that they can work with us. So in one of my, uh, what I call a long form sales letter, it's about eight pages long and people read it. It's wonderful. I tell them that they can either, you know, go online and get the, the free reports and, and get some education. They have the opportunity to um, purchase a product that is do it yourself, or they can have it done for them by me. So those are just a couple ways to tell them what they're going to end up with and how that they can work with me and my services and my products. Also in your offer, you want to, you want to provide um, something that shows your personality and really get that to come through. So in my case, I know you listening to me, you get a sense of my personality, which some folks would tell me is high energy, <laughs> inspirational and confident building, because it's true. I know that you can do this stuff and you have this laid out for you, just do it or get somebody to do it for you. Some of my other personality you'll see up here. <laughs> I love this um, small photo here. Really, the target market, what are the problems? <laughs> Remember back in the day in school when you had to go up on the board and, oh my goodness, solve all the problems the teacher gave for you. Now, we're going to solve the problems of our suspects, prospects, and customers. Also, with your um, building your character in your offer, you need to tell folks, you know, why in the world would you listen to me? And you'll find, if you ever get my long-form sales letter, I tell you the story of, how I went through all this and how I failed in the, at first and all the money I wasted pouring it down the marketing toilet, I'm going to say, <clears throat> and then how I discovered some of this lead generation that really, really made the difference. Why am I credible? Why are you credible? Also, at that point, you'll give some examples on what you've done for your other customers. Testimonials are fabulous, and we'll show you a way at some point on how to uh, get those. In your character, and I take this from Dan Kennedy, who is my marketing mentor, you are ace. You're the authority, the celebrity, and the expert. Because people want to work with people that they like, who they think know a lot more than they do, uh, and who um, can have the, have the authority, who knows what works, what doesn't, and to put you on your path. And then also, what makes you and your products and services so unique? I see I've put what makes your produce unique. It must be because it's fall while I'm recording this, and I'm thinking of all the <laughs> wonderful pumpkins and squash and, and apples out there right now. But nonetheless, what makes you or your product and service unique? For me, what makes it unique is I don't mind asking the hard questions. I don't mind getting in your face and saying, come on now, let's go. You've you know, messed around long enough on this thing. What are you going to do next? And also, in when structuring your offer, you need to set the buying criteria. You're going to tell them to what they should be looking for. So if I'm um, offering you my money-making marketing system services, I'm going to say to you, you know, look for someone who doesn't mind calling you out when you're not doing the right thing. Look for someone who has expertise in marketing, who has some, you know, experience on their belt. Look for someone who has testimonial and so on and so forth. Tell them how to buy it. So with your offer, we can say within that, we'll say you can click this button, you can call the toll free number, you can call me and I'll send you a bill, you can go to PayPal and we'll send you an in invoice. So <clears throat> tell them several ways on how they can buy this thing. And then also always repeating what they'll walk away with. You're going to get X, Y, Z, and also these bonuses one, two, three, four, and five and then tell them why they need to act now. So I only have so many of these bonuses. Um, I can only keep this webinar up so long because I have so much content on my website. It's, I'm running out of room and so on and so forth. And my favorite, why you need to act now? Because in 30 days, if you didn't, you'll still be the same place you are today. But in 30 days, if you do, you're going to be so far ahead um, generating leads on your way to making them your prospects and customers. 
Now, that was really a fast snippet through how to structure your offer. I do a whole course on this, which you'll probably be getting emails about <laughs> at some point. So again, here we go. I'm the Money Making Marketing System, and this was your lead generation system in a day. Now, you can go back and uh, pause this thing and go through each step, and you really can create this yourself. I've told you what to do. I've even given you some clues on how to do it. From this point, you can do it yourself. You can go to our website, moneymakingmarketingsystem.com, for some more information educations on how to do it yourself. And also, you can have it done for you. Uh, at the Live Out Loud community, they always talk about building team and you do the things you're great at and hire out the things that someone else is great at. Here's a last offer for you down at the bottom right here. If you will, send me an email, give me a call, write to me, see the three ways? <laughs> Simply ask me for your free marketing audit. What we'll do is um, you can offer up to me a sales letter or a website or um, a piece that you've written, a magnet that you're working on, and I will um, work with you to audit it to make it even better. Um, I'm a maximizer. If, if you've read a lot of the different uh, books on talents, and what I like to do is take something good and make it fabulous and I can help you do that. So what you have to do though is mention this code LGS1012 and do it within 10 days. Now you know if you just went through this whole thing and just copied what I do you'll be so much further ahead. Now why do I ask you to mention code LGS1012? Well I offer this free marketing audit in a number of different ways through a number of different devices and I want to know that when you call and mention this code I'll know that it came from the lead generation system webinar, webinar that I did in October 2012. Genius, huh? <laughs> right, and you can do it too.